Welcome to a new weekly vlog and back to my channel. In this weekly vlog, I'm gonna be taking you guys along on some exciting little London days I have planned, starting with checking into this incredible hotel in Mayfair. So we're staying at St. James's Hotel, which has been really kindly gifted. And last night, me and Amelia were chatting. I'm sure you can probably hear Amelia and Bronte laughing at the moment. Um, but me and Amelia were chatting about this room at this hotel and we've been put in this room. I think we've been upgraded because it's incredible so I'm gonna give you guys a tour and show you guys around because it's beautiful So that was the little room tour and then I literally just put my camera down and jumped into shooting a campaign in the bathroom which I'll leave on the screen here if I can but I basically just got distracted and then me and Amelia just chatted with Bronte for a bit as she came to like have a little coffee and catch up with us and then we did a bit of work on our laptops and now it is 6pm and we are getting ready to go out for a yummy dinner at Mayfair Kitchen which I've only ever been to for breakfast so it should be quite nice to go and experience the dinner there and that kind of thing there's Mills oh darling I was like she is she posing is she hanging oh yes tell us about your outfit I'm wearing India's coat <laughs> I really want this coat and yeah. I spent a night with her so I was like India can you bring your coat <laughs> can you bring the coat it's fine like, we can oh, trade look, it I look like Quella Deville yeah it is a very Quella Deville with the red lipstick with the red lip I felt you know Galentine's Galentine's date so yeah, we've got jumper. our yeah, that's gorgeous. So we've got our Galentine's date together. I'm in nasty gal blazer and Amazing. my boohoo belt. Three pounds. Oh, I also have my nails done today, guys. I went for a sage green with gold leaf, and I'll leave a picture so you guys can see a little bit clearer. My camera just keeps focusing on everything else but my face, so sorry if it does do that while I'm doing it. But I'm in front of this massive TV right now, and we are just heading out. But also, I wanted to show you guys something that I realised that I didn't show you. In the bathroom, there is a TV. So you can watch TV while you're in the bath. So yeah, anyway, we're going off to dinner now, so I'll show you guys when we get there. We just got back from dinner. We had a lovely dinner. The food was absolutely insane there. They do amazing like tapasy bits and things like that and it was just gorgeous. And then we had some sorbets to finish and they were lovely. Then we just chatted for a while and had some gins. And now we are back. We are just getting ready for bed, which is why I'm like in my PJs now. And we're about to do a face mask. I'll show you Amelia in a minute because she looks hilarious. She's already in hers. I'm gonna do a bit of work before heading to bed. So that is the plan for this evening. So I'll see you guys in the morning. I mean, I'm looking forward to a private night. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually terrifying. Silver man. My chocolate, you my cup of tea. Absolutely. Whoop whoop. Good morning. Good morning. We're just heading down for breakfast. We just got ready and it's like 8.40 and now we're heading for food. So yeah, I'll show you guys when we get down yeah. and what we have. Very excited. So guys, just finished breakfast and look who's arrived. It's Sarah. <laughs> so we're now shooting with Sarah, so I'll show you guys some behind the scenes. 
we're starting in the hotel room and then we're gonna head outside if hopefully there is no rain because if you guys can see so cloudy so fingers crossed no rain until we finish shooting So guys, all the hotel room picks are done and we're changing to our next looks. Amelia's in a dog's tooth coat, I can't even see, and a little black dress and her DMs at the moat. And then I am in my H&M outfit. If you would focus. My H&M green sage dress and then my Balenciaga trainers and Daisy jewelry necklace. Um, top shop earrings and then I'll link my rings down below because they're from all sorts of places <laughs> so that is what I'm gonna shoot now shot this outfit I'll leave a little pickies on the screen here and Amelia's just shooting hers in the same location and then we're gonna go and change and change into our last or second to last outfit depending on how quick very noisy van depending on how quick we can be and everything like that also I wanted to quickly mention and talk to you guys about my nails I briefly spoke about them yesterday I think but these were done by Beth so she does nails in Brighton and she is absolutely insane so I'm gonna leave all her details down below for you guys and there's IGTV videos over on my Instagram that show like the whole process because I've been doing nail rehab with her so these are my actual nails which is just mad because I never thought that I could have long nails so very impressed with how much they've grown doing nail rehab with her so that will be over on my Instagram but yeah anyway I'll show you guys the next outfit that we do Joe and the Jews doing some work and we are now off for the Red Kent event at Sexy Fish where I've never been before but I've always wanted to go so we're very excited we're also desperate for the toilet so we're like <laughs> off we go I love Joe and the Juice but your toilets are so mad yeah toilets are Joe and the Juice and not the one oh sorry um so yeah I'll show you guys when we get there just got back after a lovely lunch with Red Ken. They were so, so lovely. There's a really exciting product launching. So I don't know if I can tell you guys yet. So I'll tell you guys if I get the go ahead to tell you, but I've got some trial products to try out the first time, which is so exciting. So I've tied my hair up because I'm going to go wash it and try them out. But yeah, this evening is planning outfits for London Fashion Week this weekend. So I'll show you guys some of the outfits I'm planning and my thoughts and that kind of thing. So I'm with Chloe for the next two days and tomorrow we have two shows and then on Saturday we're doing a full day with the British Fashion Council which will be so exciting so I just can't wait to take you guys along with us but I'll show you guys the outfits I try 
try and plan this evening and then it's pretty much work mode for the rest of the night. Hello lovelies, good morning. It is now Friday. I ended up not filming last night because I had a, well, I have a garlic intolerance and I basically threw up for about four hours and then managed to pass out but I basically am really intolerant to garlic and I think that's what I had so within like the fish that I had at the restaurant without realizing so yeah but anyway I'm off to the station now and to start the day with Chloe so I'll take you guys along with us who I'm with hi <laughs> just back homing that main ready to go and <laughs> we're on the train and we are heading into London now we have our well one show today we did have more things planned but we just have one show now at 11 so we're getting there for half 10 and then yeah just gonna br probably browse Zara that's the plan yeah. 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 show you when we get there many incredible pieces there was so many pieces like the massive khaki puffer coat well like sagey green puffer would you say that was amazing and then the striped puff sleeved blue and white dress I was absolutely in love with so so many cool pieces so hopefully you guys saw and we are now gonna head into Central go for some lunch <laughs> go for some lunch and then go and just sit down and chill and then probably browse Zara because I've got to try on some boots that yeah. I really want for New York, so yeah. we'll see. But anyway, I'll take you guys along for our. Are we take some outfit pictures as well. We do some lunch dates and outfit snaps. You guys, we've just had lunch, a little chat and catch up, and then we're now just shooting behind like prep near Victoria. We'll yeah, she play now. my Zara high boots all like lace up at the front and then the zip so you don't actually have to lace them up and down each time and then I'm wearing my fake leather leggings from Topshop because they're so comfortable and then I've got my ASOS belt and my boutique blazer from Topshop which I've literally had for about three years £2.50 in the sale so I'll link similar down below but I have had this for such a long time and then I've got my little Zara knit that's like a little crop top knit underneath to keep warm and then my daisy jewellery and then I'll link like the where my rings are from because they're from so many different places <laughs> hard to tell you guys and then I've got my Topshop earrings monkey coat and this bag from a company that I can't pronounce the name of like Hads Design and she does the most amazing pieces and this is a gorgeous like little clutch from there so yeah and then nails by Beth <laughs> like this love them love them but um yeah that's the look for today thanks we're in H&M guys so we found a bag that she likes Oh, it looks so cute on you. Wait, 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 let me get my camera out. Why is mine? Yeah. Trying on this blazer, guys, and I'm literally obsessed. How nice. It's got, like, turquoise -y details, so it, like, matches my nails. Angels, so I just got in back home and basically me and Chloe went to Topshop and got basically a bit excited and bought loads of things <laughs> so well, that wasn't meant to happen but tomorrow's outfit is what I bought at Topshop so you guys will see that very very soon in the video but I am now home I'm off into town so I'm just gonna head up into town now do that and then I'll probably see you guys when Jamie arrives because he's gonna be here soon <laughs> 
So guys, we have just had food and didn't end up as we expected because the delivery was very late, but never mind. We got reimbursed, got some delivery credit since all that malarkey. And Jamie is doing his work. He has got loads of physio work, so he's in the work mode and then we're gonna chill out and maybe watch something and then go to bed. So I'll see you guys in the morning. A car is picking me up at 6 a.m. to head to London Fashion Week. I'm going to a place called Treehouse, which is this amazing restaurant for breakfast at 8 a.m. So I'll show you guys probably when I get there because I get quite car sick at the moment. So I'm a little bit nervous about that. So I probably won't be able to vlog until I arrive, but I got a new outfit today for tomorrow and I'm so excited to show you guys. Anyway, see you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it's Saturday, I'm here with Chloe, we have just got to like Covent Garden area and my goodness was I right that we would feel sick in that journey, we feel shocking, so we're just standing outside and getting some cold air but very very spinning and my bags today, <laughs> basically been up since like 4.30 so that's what happens when you've got a 8am breakfast. <laughs> and you live in Brighton. But anyway, we are here. Chloe's wearing an Unreal outfit. Thanks. Yeah, so Unreal. So we've got the Topshop trousers, ASOS coat, Topshop bag, white tee, and then yeah, Balenciagas. And then I am in, I'll get Chloe to do a little. I'm in the Topshop suit I was telling you guys about. And then the Balenciaga trainers, and then my ASOS bag. Cute. That's the look. So we are just heading into a place called the Tree House for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So I will show you guys when we get there. have just got in from London. It was a long drive back, I think, because Storm Dennis has officially started. It was mad traffic getting out of London. But I am home, it's now like 5 p.m. Had such a lovely day with the Visit London team. I feel so grateful that they invited us today. Such a beautiful catwalk show and I just loved all the pieces, a lot of the pink items in the catwalk show, which you guys would have seen, I was obsessed with. And I'll leave any pictures on the screen of like my favorite pieces in terms of dresses. And there was a pair of shorts as well. But it was a really, really lovely show. And then we did a little tour around the exhibit and saw the other designers and their work. And there was some really amazing, sustainable, eco 
brands that I was really, really interested in getting to know and I'm glad I came across them. There was one called Rebel, I believe, and they do basically genderless and seasonless fashion statement pieces that are all upcycled, all made from recycled plastics and tires and lots of other things like that. Even the buttons on their clothes are made from like upcycled milk which I just didn't even know they could do with technology these days which is amazing so I'm gonna leave that brand down below because they have some gorgeous pieces that are very very timeless and perfect for all different seasons and I was really really interested in that brand so that I'm glad I came across them and was introduced to them today and then yeah we headed for a lovely lunch at Mayfair Kitchen where I was the other night so that was like my second meal there in like three days and it was so so lovely all the tapasy bits again really really gorgeous food and had a really really lovely afternoon and then just headed back in the car we were meant to go on the London Eye but but Storm Dennis unfortunately meant that that couldn't happen so never mind I'm home now and I have about 20 minutes until Jamie finishes work and then that means I have to pack up my stuff for his because I've got to take all my work over to his to do work this evening because I'm going to spend the evening there which should be really nice so I'm going to probably log off for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow for probably a planning day before a very busy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday which I'm very excited again to still take you guys along on and I hope you're enjoying the video so far. Good morning guys, happy Monday. So yesterday I didn't film anything because I basically just did work and chilled at home and sorted all the boring stuff out that you guys definitely wouldn't want to see because it wasn't that exciting. And I am now in London. I am in like Salon, well I'm in Hyde Park area kind of thing, but I found this really nice street called Halkin Street the other day when I was in an Uber and I was like, I really want to shoot around this area. So Kirsty is currently on her way. I think she's like two minutes away. I'm like looking around, see if I can see her. But she's really close by and we're gonna do a shooting afternoon and it's not raining. Tom Dennis is not ruining our day today, which is ideal. And yeah, it's not raining, it's really good. And I had a morning meeting this morning with Bare Minerals. I didn't take you guys along because it was just too early and we were just chatting and catching up and that kind of thing. So it wasn't really appropriate for me to just like whip out the camera. But a really nice morning meeting. Got some new products that I can show you guys this afternoon when I check into the hotel with KP, wherever she is. But currently, me and Kirsty really need the bathroom. And the only problem is with this area is that we're like in between Sloan Square and Hyde Park. So there's nowhere really to pee apart from hotels. And I doubt they're gonna let us in. So I'm gonna try and work that one out. And then I'll try and show you as much as I can in terms of behind the scenes shooting. However, I'm shooting on this camera that I'm talking to you guys on. So I don't know how much I'll be able to show you. I'll probably be able to show you like Kirsty's behind the scenes and then some pictures if I can. I'll leave on the screen here so you guys can see the outfits that we did and like what the area is like if you are on a hunt for some good locations in London then I really love this area it is so gorgeous it's like really good for like beige houses like grey houses and like really built up pillars and things like that so really nice little spot hello so guys there's torrential rain what time is it actually because it said one oh my god I'm actually getting wet sitting here it's getting heavier. What? Oh my like, god. What is going on? No, it's actually getting worse. <laughs> no, I can't get I can't get off. <laughs> this is the current situation. Oh my god, the rain full on like came in then. But look, there's some sunshine. now although now the ground's wet it's not alive. it ain't good but look now it's stopping a little bit yeah we're just in someone's doorway which i mean someone else is doing the exact same thing there so. <laughs> it's not too bad i felt we felt a bit weird that we were just in someone's doorway with our suitcases 
personally think they look very cute together. Same. Anyway, I'll update you guys when something more entertaining is happening because right now we're just waiting out the rain. So yeah. We have just arrived at Sister Dean's hotel and apartments and we've just checked into our room and this is the lovely big bed and we've got like a little office area over there if my camera will focus on the area. The light's not great in here. As you can see, a little office area, the bed, and then we have a kitchen, which is so fab if you're in London and you need like a little kitchen space. KP's just in there. It's got a little wardrobe in here, and then you've got the stove and like fridge and everything that you need, and microwave. Yeah, a very important. And then <laughs> through here, we have the bathroom, which is really nice. And that is the layout. So we have just come in the room. We've just taken a few like snaps of the room and stuff like that. And did another outside shot, which I'll leave on the screen here for you guys to see. And we are now going to quickly head to Tottenham Court Road and pop in to New Look. <laughs> just like deciding that for us. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, just to get a few bits, but then come back not too late after because we have so much to do both of us so we'll probably be in bed doing some editing this evening and that kind of thing and ordering dinner oh so God, it's, like again. it's like the what it's like it is van days or being in the philippines and like literally yeah. doing work every night we just sit in bed and do work it's back to those days so yeah that's the plan anyway so guys we're back in bed we're eating our leon i got like two meals this is a kid's meal and it's actually a lot bigger than I thought this time round. Mm. But I got a salad and then like kids Leon. And then KP got a nice chicken, chicken salad. salad. with some extra halloumi. Yum. And we went into New Look. I actually didn't show you guys anything, but I got a really nice dress, which if I have like a video clip of, I'll leave on the screen. I think I actually did also video the skirt that I fell in love with that I really want for New York. So maybe I will purchase that at some point. So I'll leave them on the screen here. But then we went into Zara and we tried on a lot. Kirstie spent a lot of money. <laughs> I spent a 3.99 in Zara. But then again, this morning I ordered from yeah, Zara. So yeah. I actually did spend the same amount of years. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and I'm just back here and we're going to do some work now on our laptops. So I will see you guys in the morning. I'm up bright and early as I'm off to a new look breakfast. So I'll see you there. actually spoken to you guys today but it's been very very busy and very fun and as you can tell I have been to the new look event this morning it was absolutely incredible I'm gonna leave pictures on the screen here of some of my favorite pieces from the spring collection that is launching in April so none of this is available until then so I won't be able to link anything but as soon as it is out I will talk about it in one of my other videos because my goodness I am in love with so much of that range and collection and I can't believe how beautiful the designs and the structures and the pieces of the collection are and I'm just very excited for spring and summer now but I am currently at in Burberry at Thomas's Cafe I'm just going in now for a meeting with some lovely girls from a PR team who represent a few of my favourite brands so I'm just heading to see them now so I probably won't be able to film with them but I will show you guys when I'm out and show you like the little bits and bobs and stuff that we spoke about and things like that and I'll talk to you guys after I have just got back to the hotel room. I just wanted to show you some of the lovely little bits that the gorgeous girls at Purple PR kindly gifted me to like give a try. Some of the products I've tried out before, but some of them are new and I'm very excited. So they firstly gave me the James Reed tan, which I absolutely love. However, this is the sleep mask tan body. So it's a cream, not a mousse, which makes it quite nice to go to bed in, I find, and that kind of thing. I find with James Reed tan that it's a more like orangey glow so like a holiday glow it's not as dark 
as I normally go with my tans. So if I've got a tan on that I've gone on holiday with, or if I've caught a little bit of a tan, or you kind of want a little more natural, then this is amazing because it's super hydrating on the skin. It's got hyaluronic acid in and everything, so that is amazing keeping the skin like hydrated. And I think if you have sensitive skin as well and you're unsure on like what tan to use, then this is like my go-to when my skin needs a bit of like loving with a tan instead of it just being dried out a lot of the time. But this is also one of my faves. So this is the Sleep Mask Face and this is the Retinol one. So this is a new one that launched last year when I was traveling, so I didn't actually get to try this out. So I'm super excited to give this a go because I love using face tans. At the moment and just in general, I have like my free main tan brands that I'm obsessed with and I constantly use and that is Centropay because it's been my go-to like last summer I used the water gel every single day when I was traveling like in Bali it was just perfect because it doesn't stain the sheets and I think when you're traveling around to places that you don't really want to stay in the beds in it's kind of nice to have the option the same with this tan you don't stain the sheets with this which is ideal because it's not that embarrassing moment when you wake up and the beds are like orange so that is also Centropay one of my fave go-to brands James Reed one of my fave go-to brands and then also Bondi Sands Dark Mousse is also another one of my faves so just thought I'd mention that so that you guys can know which brands are like my go-to and what I'd recommend because I get quite a lot of questions about my tan so it's usually one of those three that I love and always go for and then next up they gave me some really lovely goodies from Anastasia Beverly Hills which I am so excited to try because again I missed the launch of this when I was traveling last year so it's the dewy set spray and then I have the Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder, which I'm so excited to try because apparently the best way to apply this is with a beauty blender and apparently there's no flashback. And that is like my issue at the moment is that I end up like piling so much concealer on to get rid of my tired eyes that if I take a photo, you can really tell when I've set it with powder. So it should be interesting to see how that works. And then, so like some few other like foundation and palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I'll show you when I try them out. And then also Fresh do really gorgeous collection pieces. So they have their eye cream, which I actually have at home and also their toner, but they have also just launched <laughs> their new strawberry exfoliating face wash. So apparently this is a sugar exfoliating face wash, but the sugar kind of like dissolves into your skin. So I feel like that would be quite nice on the skin. So I'm going to try this out over the next few days and let you guys know how I get on with that. But yeah, they're the little goody pieces that I was really kindly gifted from the lovely girls over at Purple PR. So I will let you guys know how I get on by before I just do like a little quick unboxing of that. And I am now just back at the hotel. I am quickly going to have a bit of a spruce up. I feel like London really wipes me out a little bit. Like I'm very shiny, my makeup's kind of all off and I just feel a bit sweaty and hot. So I think I'm gonna have a shower. I've got a facial, which is literally my third facial in my whole entire life that I'm gonna be getting today with a Urban retreat and I am so excited. I think it's like a 70 minute facial, which is mad. I am 100% gonna fall asleep. I can feel it already, but it is the glow facial. So I'm very, very excited. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take my makeup off and have a shower and then head straight there. So I'll show you guys when I get there. <laughs> I have just got back to the hotel room. I'm trying to like show you my skin, but the light is fading and it's very blue. So I don't really know if that's great lighting at all, but I'm gonna sit on the bed and chat to you guys about how it was. It was so hard to film because there was nowhere really to set up my camera and I kind of wanted to fully enjoy the experience and yeah, just see kind of what it was all about and what it was like and basically went in and we spoke about what was going to be done and it was using all these like Haunt Beauty products and they are all like facial products. You can actually get the travel kits of them to take away and the rollers as well. So what, everything she used on my skin you can actually buy either there at Urban Retreat or online I believe. So I'm going to leave like pictures on the screen here of like if I've got them of the like products that you can take and do like travel kits when you're flying and like that kind of thing and she started with kind of cleansing the skin and then steaming because I needed a bit of extraction like around my nose I get such a build up of pores there and I never like get rid of them because I hate doing any kind of like squeezing or extraction around my nose or like my chin area because I just break out 
but I always find that when I'm in a facial environment and they're doing it correctly and then they're closing my pores afterwards, it's usually okay. Like, you can't really see. Like, she then used something afterwards that basically then closed all the pores and it was like a jelly mask type thing which felt really nice and then I had like another mask put on a few bits of cleansing and then some toner that kind of thing and then I had like a really nice like shoulder arm massage while the face mask was on which is apparently like a pearl face mask which is meant to really like illuminate the skin but also at the same time working well at kind of like plumping and keeping the skin quite radiant as well so it's really like glowy amazing facial to get and i will leave all links down below because that will definitely describe it better than what i have just done but it was amazing it was so relaxing it is such a nice spa i didn't even know urban retreat was like that because i've never been before and i absolutely loved it it was such a nice environment had a peppermint tea beforehand and also didn't realize that you can actually get tattoos there and i'm currently debating another tattoo so that might be where i go and get it done because they do really nice like small tattoos and my friend Lauren also got hers there recently. So anyway, I'm back at the hotel, run back here. I've got about half an hour now until I've got a dinner reservation at Oxford Circus of Kirsty that I managed to like sort us out, which was quite good. Last minute like dinner. I don't actually know what it's like food wise, but we're going to Dirty Bones. I think it's American. So probably not the food I'm feeling, but I'm excited to try it anyway. And I'm just gonna do some email catch ups, just sit here have some water because I swear I don't drink enough when I'm in London and then also got some mango to eat because I feel like I haven't had enough fruit the last two days. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and yeah, the facial was lovely. So I'll leave all links to that down below. I just feel like my skin is so glowy. I'm actually not gonna put any makeup on now until tomorrow because I just don't want to like ruin it. <laughs> Even though being in London kind of feels like the pollution's ruining it anyway. But yeah, I loved it and had such a, such a lovely time there. Good morning guys, so I actually forgot to finish or end last night but me and KP just travelled home from Dirty Bones, we actually had such a nice evening, it's such a nice restaurant and I was saying to Kirsty when we were there, it's like the perfect first date kind of place to go because the atmosphere is really nice and the food came out within five minutes, we had so much food, it was like the best chicken I've had in a very very long time. So really, really enjoyed having our evening there. And we just got back and did some work and then we ended up chatting about pregnancies and babies for like an hour. <laughs> for like an hour, like at midnight probably. So although we wanted an early night, we ended up being up quite late. But anyway, I've woken up. It's now like 8.40 and we are heading down to just grab some breakfast from the actual Citizens Hotel. So they do three pound breakfast apparently. Not sure what that means or like what it's going to be like, but we're going to go suss that out. And then I'm heading straight to central London to go to a John Frieda salon to have my hair done today, which I'm so excited. It's been booked in for such a long time and I've always wanted to try out the John Frieda salons and see what they can do to my hair because I haven't had anything done for about four months now, which is mad. And I've just been using like purple shampoo. But my roots are crazy bad. So I haven't washed my hair, I've just tied it up in a little bun. And yeah, gonna head down for breakfast and then head to the salon. So guys, I forgot to end the video. Of course I don't. I had my hair done at John Frieda, which was really lovely. They basically just checked out my hair and I know already that it is dying massively. So what we've done is we've added in some yellow half a head of balayage just so I can start toning out the purple and silver and go back to my natural color. So these are all still my natural roots, but it's just like brightened up my head a little bit to make me feel a little bit better about the fact that I am going to be growing out my hair and stuff this year to try and keep it healthy and happy again so that was what happened and what I didn't film I'll show you guys any photos I will leave on the screen here of the experience but it was such a lovely salon and really really nice experience and I really like to honestly say where about my hair and about what could be possible in terms of the health for it over the next year because I know I use a lot of purple shampoos I know I've had it bleached a lot so I really need to be careful because <laughs> Although there's a lot of it, it does dry out quite quickly. So it's feeling a lot healthier already having it like snipped and things like that. So that's what happened and that's what you guys missed. But 
Anyway, this is the end of the video. I am currently at home, not feeling 100%. I have really swollen glands and it's really hurting to talk, but I thought it would end the video anyway. And, and I am currently packing for New York, which is so exciting. So on Tuesday, there will be a Nasty Girl New York pack with me. And then over the next few days, next week as well, there'll be vlogs coming. And then there's also a massive chunky haul, which is what I've just filmed over here with lots of amazing like pastels and like things like that. So I'm very excited to share those with you guys and I'm so excited to go to New York I'm really hoping I'm gonna feel better by the time it gets to Tuesday and it's my flight because Right now I'm really not but at least I got all my filming done today and I can go and chill now So yeah, I thought I'd end today's vlog and I hope you guys are all having a super super lovely one whenever you're watching this I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was it was somewhat fun coming along with me because I always find vlogs a bit weird I'm always like do people want to see this do people like do you guys care but hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully it kind of gives you an insight into like who I am a little bit more and what I get up to and that kind of stuff and yeah it was really nice to take you guys along with me and that kind of thing also one more quick thing I want to mention I had my eyelashes and my eyebrows done by the lovely Claire in Brighton and I'm going to leave all her details down below because I had a lash lift and I'm honestly blown away and there is nothing on my eyebrows right now nothing whatsoever so I'm just so so amazed and it was a really lovely experience she's so so careful what she does she takes so much time and it really matters to her in terms of like the outcome of how it looks and making sure that it's right for you but already I've noticed such a difference with my eyebrows because I always get a lot of like ball patches around here I haven't even filled them in today and I'm just blown away by the fact that all I've done is brush them. So yeah, she's amazing. I just wanted to quickly let you guys know that. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on. I will see you guys in Tuesday's video. And if you guys want to see any like New York updates and stuff like that, I'll be all over on my Instagram, which I'll leave a link to down below. Anyway, lots of love guys. Mwah. See you soon. Bye.